Galaxy, but we had a very special privilege to interview the San Jose Earthquakes goalie John Bush. I know he doesn't play for the Galaxy, I know Galaxy and Earthquakes are rivals, but still, you can't miss that opportunity and he's a great guy. So, here's our interview. Alright, so I'm here at the Torrance Marriott with the San Jose Earthquakes goalie John Bush. Uh, so, we're going to interview him now, or I am, because Jack's not here. Uh, so, where are you from? Uh, originally, I'm from New York, Queens, New York. Alright, cool. Um, so, what's your soccer background? When you were young, did you have a passion? Did you play when you were young at all? Yeah, I, I started playing when I was uh, probably five or six. I had an older brother who was a striker, and he put me in the goal one day, probably when I was eight or nine, and just uh, really enjoyed getting the ball shot at me, and kind of decided I needed to be a goalkeeper right about then. Yeah. Well, I'm a goalie, too. Are you? Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so but you got the wrong shirt on, though, Chase. Uh, oh, no. we got to sort that, that out. That, that's what's wrong right now. Oh, that, that's this one's wrong? Right oh, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so did you play any, like, AYSO club, high school, college? Yeah, I uh, obviously started uh, at a rec club when I was real young, and uh, my brother and my dad were my first coaches, and from there I, I went on to club soccer and did the ODP, you know, played in, in high school, made the uh, made the youth national team, played for the under-17 national team, played for the under-20 national team, uh, and then went to college for three years, played there. Turn, turn pro went to uh, at that time it was the A League. It's the USL now. Uh, played five years in, in what I like to call the minor leagues there uh, before I came into the MLS and uh, played for the full team a couple times as well. So, who has the hardest kick in the MLS? Is there anyone that just kind of just kind of scary when you're in the goal? Uh, I mean, besides Beckham or Donovan. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Obviously Beckham is, uh, it may not be the hardest, but it, it's one of the ones that moves the most. Um, another one is Jorginho tonight, you know, uh, he's got a great strike on him and it, it's very difficult because it moves quite a bit on you. Um, but uh, probably the hardest, uh, probably one of the hardest ones I've ever had is, is Chad Barrett when I played with him in Chicago. He, yeah, he doesn't bend too many balls. He hits the living daylights out of them, and uh, sometimes they're not fun to be behind. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> All right. Um, so, what was your take on the whole game tonight? And then, how did you think your team played? Uh, I thought, you know, we, we obviously got behind the, right away in the, in the third minute. You know, we weren't happy with the way we played in the first half. You know, we didn't have a lot of bite to us and uh, kind of got pushed around the field a little bit. Uh, but uh, we knew that if we could step it up in the second half and we get some good chances out of it. And, uh, you know, we, we kind of talked at halftime about if, if we could pull out the three points, we'd be at the top of the table again. So we kind of challenged ourselves in the locker room at halftime and uh, it ended up being well. Yeah. Uh, well, obviously when I saw that, uh, that's uh, the early goal was scored. I saw you looking up, and I knew you were looking at me and my friend Jackson. Were up there. So oh yeah, that's exactly what I was doing. Yeah, I was trying to find you guys. Yeah. 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 Um, and I know you talked about Janino, uh, uh, his tough shot. Well, I saw you made a nice save. Want to tell me about that save? Yeah, he, uh, he hits the ball very well. Um, he's uh, hit a few over the years against me like that. And like I said, for him, he gets a lot of dip and a lot of swerve on it. And I was just fortunate enough to be able to get a hand and then top, uh, touch it over the crossbar. Yeah, uh, so, at halftime, what was the worst? Like I said, I think we were just we were disappointed in the first half. Uh, we didn't think we played our game. They kind of... Uh, possess the ball a bit too much for our liking and, and they push us around the, on the field a little bit too much and they're a good team you know regardless of their record they've got some very quality players and, and Bruce Arena is a great coach so uh, you know credit to them for that but uh, like I said we we felt like we didn't play our style of game and uh, you know we kind of challenged ourselves at halftime to come out and, and, and take control of the second half which I, I thought we uh, ended up doing and obviously the red card helped us but uh, you know, at the end of the day, we, we got the three goals we needed and got the three points we needed. Yeah, uh, and uh, when the first goal was scored with you guys, oh, you guys scored your first goal in the second half. 
What did you tell your team? Uh, we were, you know, I think there was about 15 minutes left and we just kind of said, you know, let's keep going. We figured we could at least get a tie on them, you know, and, uh, you know, that, that's one of the things that uh, has been great about this team so far this year is we never give up, we never die, and, uh, you know, we fight till the end, and, you know, getting that first goal just put us right in, you know, back into the game, and uh, I, I had a gut feeling that we were at least going to get a second and, and at least get a point out of it. Last year, there was a game, uh, Earthquakes versus uh, Real Salt Lake. Uh -huh. My dad and I were at that game, and we heard you got into a huge fight with uh, the Salt Lake coach. No, nah, it, wasn't, it wasn't a huge fight, you know, uh, Jason and I played against each other for years and uh, he's a competitive guy and I'm a competitive guy and you know, more or less I was just asking him what kind of pizza he likes after the game because we were supposed to grab a slice but uh, we couldn't agree and, and I wanted pepperoni and he wanted sausage so we just kind of were arguing about what kind of pizza to get. Um, it's, uh, that might not make it on the show. That's fine. Yeah. And then another question uh, my friend Jack told me to ask. Okay. Um, so before games, do you have any superstitions? Because we kind of want, if you do have anything good, then we kind of like to ask. <laughs> so I can't do it the next time? Um, no, I don't, I don't have too many superstitions. I think uh, one of the things I like to do uh, after warm-up when we come back in and, and we're heading back out, I like to be the last uh, the last player out uh, right before we line up to, to walk on the field. I think that's really about about it. I don't, uh, I don't have too many superstitions. Yeah, and uh, one last question before we go. Uh, how can we go easy? can't go easy in this league, you know, we we got to get on top of the table and, uh, we, you know, we got to keep winning so we can get to the MLS Cup. Alright, well, uh, good luck. Uh, next time I think we'll take you. Okay, maybe yeah. we'll put a little bet on it. Right. What do you think? Alright. Yeah? Okay. Alright. Right. We'll lose or buy his hamburgers. Okay. Alright, fair enough. Alright, uh, thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me, Chase. Appreciate it, bud. Right. Yeah. Alright. Well, that was quite an honor to have John Bush on our show. He was a great guest, probably our best guest we've yeah. ever had, and we've had my cat on this show before, so. That's saying something. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, again, great privilege. We're very lucky, and uh, so that's about it. Uh, we're going to try and come up with a couple more videos this season, so uh, go Galaxy. Go Galaxy.